Okay. I'm gonna say something that'll probably piss off every fan of the MCU. If you don't mind, I'm gonna take cover real quick before I say it. Thanos isn't the best villain of the MCU. <laughs> okay, so now that um the anger is over, I hope, probably not, let me explain my point as to why I believe him to not be the best villain. In fact, I think Hera and Killmonger and Vulture are all better villains than Thanos is. So, just quick recap. What the fuck is Thanos' plan again? Oh, that's right. Get the Infinity Gauntlets and snap everything into half non-existence. Why? To save the universe. Hmm. Okay. Tell me there, boy. How the fuck? Did you think erasing half of literally everything from existence would increase anything? I'm sorry, we rely on things like bees and the rest of the ecosystem and everything to fucking live now! How would getting rid of half of that help us in any way, shape, or form? Also, I don't know if it meant sentient life or what, but in my mind, half existence means every fucking animal's gone bye-bye as well. Also, the dude does not have a consistent characterization throughout the entire film. What do I mean by this? Well, sometimes he waxes eloquent about how everything must be in perfect balance, otherwise, you know, death and destruction and sadness and everything should be balanced. Blah, 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 blah. And the rest of the time, he's doing shit that doesn't fucking fall into that category of logic. Things that he has done that do not fall into the balance. Had fucking fun while fighting Hulk. Fucking killed Gamora's entire fucking race, which I'm gonna get back to that in a second. And three, killing all of the dwarves except for Etri and leaving Etri with Fucking metal fists. Please explain to me how any of those fall within balance of his master plan. I will wait, cause you fucking can't. Also, back on the point of my Gamora thing, it's revealed in Guardians of the Galaxy that Gamora is the last survivor of her race, of her entire species, she is the last living member. That means that after Thanos fucking, you know, effectively kidnapped her, and shot half of them, the rest of them either died from plague and disease, and you know, the rest of the bullshit that a ravaged planet would do, or he just killed the rest of them in cold blood with no mercy. And even if it is the latter, he never went back to make sure that these fuckers were actually surviving and that his fucking plans made sense. Yeah, real smart there, fucker. Hmm. Seriously, his original plan in the comics was to do the same thing so that he could fucking bone Lady Death. I'm sorry, but I actually like that motive more and that should have been his motives in the film. Just personal, personal preference there. And now to my other things. Vulture, Killmonger, and Hera are all better villains than the fucking Thanos will ever be. Oh, I'm gonna get hate for that. All right, so let me start with Vulture. Vulture is literally just a working class man who wants to provide for his family because he feels like he got screwed over by the superheroes, which he kind of did. And honestly, he makes sense. The only thing that he does is that he's willing to kill and steal to get what he wants, putting him kind of at odds with our hero. If he was just stealing and had the morals of not killing anyone, I feel like Vulture would have gone down as one of the more celebrated villains within the MCU. His plan makes sense and all he wants to do is provide a better life for his wife and child. Plus, how he's able to switch between murderous psychopath and just loving father is really well done with his interactions with Peter. Like once he finds out, you know, Peter's actual identity that, I don't know. I just thought the fact that he was able to be like, oh, go in, have fun, sweetie. And then instantly be like, I will kill you if you come to try and stop me. I, I thought that was a really neat transition and it worked really well for the fucking character. Hera, she's a, just a pure evil villain who is 
so much fun. She's just fun to watch. I'm sorry. D do you not think that she's a super fun villain to watch? Like, I, I don't, I, I don't, what? Hera is amazing. Hera is hilarious. Uh, Hela, Hela, not Hera. Hela. Hela is a horrifying villain from another series. Hera, no, Hera. Fuck, I've gotten them mixed up. No, I've gotten the Greek and the Norse gods mixed up. Fuck! Hela from Ragnarok is a better villain than Thanos because she is a pure evil villain. She just wants to cause death and destruction and just, you know, rule everything. Her goals are simple and understandable. As soon as she's introduced, she doesn't need any complicated moral justification for what she does because she does what she does because she wants to and she thinks it is fun. That is more compelling and much more entertaining to me than waxing eloquent about how everything must be in balance. Ah! And finally, Killmonger. Killmonger's goal is, you know, the most understandable villain goal I have ever seen in an MCU film. I do not agree with his goal because his goal is effectively mass genocide, but I can understand where he's coming from and why he wants to do what he's doing. And honestly, I think it would have been cool if he hadn't died at the end of his film. If somehow he had managed to get captured and you could have this like back and forth between Killmonger and T'Challa and like have these really cool interactions between the two of them going forward. I personally think that would be really cool. And unfortunately, even if they had left him alive at the end of his film, and he hadn't died with, by the way, one of the best death lines ever in any movie, by the way. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships because they knew death was better than bondage. Sadly, because of Chadwick Boseman's untimely passing last year, that wouldn't be a possibility going forward in the MCU at all, but yeah... Killmonger was, he, he was better. His goals were much more understandable. And I, I don't agree with his goals, but at least I can understand where the fuck he's coming from and where he would get those ideas into his head that that's what needed to be done to save people and not, not save people, just just fuck with people. Just fuck, he, he, he just wanted to kill. You know what, Killmonger just wanted to kill, but his goals made sense and were understandable to me now. Here's where I deconstruct Thanos' whole fucking shtick. Why are there fans of these films that say he did nothing wrong? He murdered his daughter for no reason other than ultimate goal. He's tortured his other daughter continuously her entire life. He just kills people for no reason. I'm sorry, Thanos is not some sympathetic villain who just wanted to do good. No, he's an insane madman who decided, who came up with a plan, and then despite the fact that he was shown people would A, fight him, and B, fucking do everything in their power to stop his ass. He just stuck to his original plan. He's a stubborn asshole who won't listen to reason of other fucking people. He is absolutely insane. Yeah, Josh Brolin plays him really well, but the Thanos that we got in the MCU is not sympathetic. He is not some sad puppy dog who's doing this for the greater good. He's an insane, unhinged psycho who's doing this because he enjoys killing, but can't admit that to himself. His characterization is not consistent at all. Like I mentioned earlier, when he does shit like killing Gamora's entire race, killing all the dwarves except for Etri, torturing Nebula, the, the way he, that he fucking tortures Nebula in the film. None of those are consistent with his ideals of balance that he constantly fucking spurts off. You know why so many people like him? Th this is my theory. The whole reason is because we spend over a third of the film with him. We spend over a third of Infinity War with Thanos to learn his plans and make him a sympathetic villain. We didn't need that. Most of the other MCU films, we don't spend that much time with the villain. We get shots to show us what their plans are, and that's it. But we spend so much time with Thanos that people got caught up in what he was saying and believed, oh, that makes sense and he's right. When his reality, his bullshit is absolutely insane. And if you heard anyone spouting that exact same kind of nonsense, you would do everything in your fucking power to stop them. I'm sorry, but he does so much stuff that doesn't fall in line with his whole, I want to be kind, like fighting fucking Hulk. He got joy from that. It's not something someone who just wants to balance everything does. He had 
joy on his face while beating down Banner. I'm sorry, but Thanos isn't the fucking, you know, mastermind best villain that everyone makes him out to be. He's a good villain. He's better than a lot of the other MCU villains, but he is not the best one. There are other villains much more entertaining than him, and his plan at the end of the day makes no sense, and he's just completely bonkers, and the plan that a madman comes up with and won't listen to reason to try and change. So yeah, Thanos isn't that good of a villain, and I really would like people to stop acting like he is the end-all be-all of Marvel villains. Oh boy, I'm gonna get some dislike on this video. <sighs> hey, I hope they all enjoyed that video, me ranting about why I don't think Thanos is the best villain in the MCU. But yeah, I hope they all enjoyed this video. I hope they all have a fantastic day. And as always, peace out, guys.